Today, I'll show you some things we can prepare if you plan to level a Draenei or Blood Elf in the pre-patch. In this video, I'll show you some quests we can pretty much instantly hand in if you grind the items or buy them right now. I'll start with the low level quest and then the level requirements will increase as the movie goes on. I've not been able to find many low level quests for Horde, so in case you know some, then please share them with this awesome community in a comment below the video. I've also posted links to all the quests that I do in this video. That way you can easily look them up and where you have to go in order to pick up the quest or where you have to go to hand it in. This quest is picked up in Karanas, the city right after you leave the gnome and dwarf starting area. You can collect the ribs without being on the quest and the mold is bought from the innkeeper. In Elven Forest there is a quest where we have to hand in some meat. This meat can be collected when you kill boars and the good thing is that you don't need to be on the quest in order to grind the meat. In Westfall we can pick up this quest. This will tell us to find an NPC. Once you hand in this quest, you will get a new quest. And all these materials we can already have farmed. So we can instantly hand in the follow up quest. The best location for farming these materials is in Westfall. The same NPC will also give us another quest. Bring 8 levers and these you prepare as well. This will allow us to hand in two quests instantly. In Darkshore you can pick up a cooking quest. You need to be level 10 cooking, but this quest is so easy to do as well. You need to provide 5 strider meats and all this meat can be grinded without the quest. At the innkeeper in Loch Modan there is a quest. Pick up this quest, provide all the materials and instantly hand in the quest. At the lighthouse in Westfall we have to provide 5 flask of oil. Hand in these and get a good amount of experience. In Red Ridge Mountains in Lakeshire we can pick up another quest. All these materials are found all over Red Ridge, some of them have a low drop chance. In Duskwood we can pick up this one. The wolf flank is grinded from all the wolves in Duskwood. You can buy the seasonal herbs from a winter in Stoneman City. In Duskwood there is yet another quest. This quest will tell us to provide a bronze tube. Engineers can craft these bronze tubes, but you can also find a winter that sells them in Stoneman City, Ironforge and some other locations. In the main cities you can hand in 60 wool cloth and get experience. You can do this in all the main cities, but you can only do it once. At level 30 a new quest is unlocked. We can hand in 60 silk cloth and grant experience once again. At level 40 we can hand in 60 mage reef cloth and at level 50 60 wound cloth. There is a lot of experience to be gained, especially if you can find a helpful mage who will give you a portal. A chef in Hillspread will tell you to collect some turtle meat and some spice. The spice can be bought from cooking vendors and the turtle meat grinded from the turtles nearby. These you should prepare so we can hand in this quest instantly. In Strength and Fawn Whale we can collect the Green Hills of Strength and Fawn. These pages are collected from all the monsters in this zone. Handing in these pages will grant you a lot of experience, especially the final part. In Badlands you should bring one Frost Oil. Handing in this will grant you a decent amount of experience. There is also going to be a follow up and this item is crafted by engineers. At the same location there will be another quest giver. This quest giver will give us two quests where we also have to provide items that we can prepare already. The bracers are crafted by blacksmithers. For the other quest we have to provide a healing potion and an invisibility potion. In Tenaris we have to deliver this water. You can grind these from the waste wonders in Tenaris. In Ongoa Crater you can pick up crystals of power. These you can collect all over the zone and you don't need to be on the quest. We need to hand in 7 of each. We can pick up the quest chasing a me in Ongoa Crater. For this quest we have to find a gorilla in a cave. And this gorilla will give us a follow up quest. We need to provide one mephal casing. And this is crafted by engineers. The monsters in Diamol drop some different class books. These you can start and hand in in Diamol for some easy experience and even a rare item. In Eastern Plaguelands 
there's a quest where we have to provide some different materials. All these materials are crafted by different professions. They will probably be a bit expensive, but it will also grant a good amount of experience. In Strength Reform Whale, we can pick up a Bichu of Sansa. Destroy one Bichu, and it doesn't matter what color it is. Head back to the troll to get your quest reward. I actually prepare stuff like this for my main character as well. So when Burning Crusade is being released, then I can hit level 61 in less than 20 minutes. I have a video with everything that I prepare. Thank you for watching and have an amazing day.